A short film being shot in the black country this week is aiming to shine a light on the growing problem of coercive control in relationships. The film called The Silent Treatment shows the impact of psychological abuse. The award-winning team behind it, we've actually featured them before on Midlands Today, hope it'll start conversations and help people escape abusive relationships. James Boville reports. Stand by. OK, I'm rolling. And... Action. It's a crime that's often kept behind closed doors, now being brought to the screen. This short film is called The Silent Treatment, shot almost entirely without dialogue to show the subtle art of emotional manipulation in domestic abuse situations. Star Rita works as a hairdresser and says the issue comes up a lot among friends. These people probably don't know or can't get help or too scared to get help and, and don't know who to speak to. God, there's so much that you can do. Get out. Uh, there's a bigger world out there. Um, you know, you don't need to be afraid of anyone. Writer and producer Keith Large has won awards for previous short films, often more light-hearted in nature. So why the move to a more serious subject matter? We want to achieve a very powerful message at the end of the film. We want to show that victims, that they're not alone, that they're not to blame, and we want to show them that there is support out there and you do not need to live in fear anymore. Fictional scenes like this are sadly all too common in real life. The West Midlands Police Force area has the fourth highest rates of domestic abuse incidents in England and Wales. More than 30 cases per thousand of the population in the year ending March 2023. Sarah is the film's makeup artist and will appear in later scenes as an actress. She also works as a police investigator. It's a course of conduct, like a pattern of behaviour. It starts off quite mild, you know, sort of controlling their actions, controlling their movements, controlling their friends, um, and then slowly sort of taking things away, making them really dependent on the suspect. It can lead to horrific, horrific endings sometimes. Coercive control only became a criminal offence nine years ago. It's hoped this film will help bring this silent manipulation out into the open. James Boville, BBC Midlands Today in Dudley.